My name's MP. I live in Winnipeg in Canada. I'm a osteopathic manual practitioner. So I've been working with babies and kids with special needs for like 30 years now. I remember I heard a couple of interviews with Katie. It was the one with Sarah G that I don't know what she said in that interview, but I was like, hmm, I want to check that out. Immediately, I, like I went to the website and I did the flower quiz and I'm like, oh, nailed it. And then 2020 happened. I was deemed non-essential, so I wasn't working. And Katie offered a, an awareness practice for free. And I, of course, did it. But I was like, she knows that we have to be even stronger in our spiritual practice. We have to be more grounded because this is weird. And this is not in our highest best. I would have probably just read something about the flower evolution. I'm like, I don't care how much it costs. This is my number one priority. There's nothing more important right now than for me to make sure I'm doing my work. And I think my first flower was cacao flower, which I don't know if that could have been any better. Nourish yourself. Like what on earth does that even mean? And the fact that I was like, what does that even mean? I was like, you're going to have to look at this. I think more and more people are also realizing like we as a collective need to change stuff up. Even if it's a small group of us, they're at least trying and trying to bring the light that matters. It doesn't have to be billions of people like a small group does matter to get any of us like being intentional with something as, as simple as like having a glass of water. And then really, it's just trying to be very intentional and aware of like, what is this essence about? Like, what are the lessons I'm I'm working through? I'm sure this happens to everyone, like your day maybe goes sideways and you're like, what is going on? And I think before I would have said like, why is this happening? But now I'm like, what flower essence am I using? And then I'm like, oh, that's what this is about. So instead of like, why is this happening to me? I'm like, what, what did I call in? Okay. I am more of an introspective person and an introvert. In the beginning, when we did the touchstones, I had my camera off. And then I realized like how much Katie and maybe Taylor, like how present they were, what it took for them and the presence they brought and the safety that they created that I was like, show up, like turn on your camera. And it was, it was like the best decision, the retrospective. And I think that's why I find the touchstones so helpful because it's, you know, towards the end of the month and you're like, right, all that happened. You know, life is busy and you're kind of going through it and you haven't even realized like how much has gone by and like all the ups and downs and, and what you work through. Everyone's giving someone time to talk and just listening to other people's experiences also helps you process what's going on you never know what to expect and I think the one that I can think of that really kicked my butt was Sagoro cactus flower and it's a you know divine masculine which I can't even really at this point say I truly understand what that is and it's about like self-sufficiency and resiliency and I was like great I got that this should be nice and it was hard because I have those traits like to the point where I don't accept help from anyone. And so it was really interesting to see like, oh yeah, you have those, but you use it too much. And to the point where I don't feel like I have any support because someone may offer me something. And I'm like, I got it. I'm good. I got it. And I realized too, which was so cool that it was a cactus flower, that it makes me very prickly because people are like, well, she doesn't need anything from me. And then I don't feel supported and I can feel lonely, but I'm like, you did it to yourself. It showed me my imbalance so much and how hard I was on myself that like I couldn't get through the month 
just taking that. Like I had to bring in like fierce compassion. Like even in the realization, I was being so harsh on myself. I have certainly noticed where I'm like, you could just say yes. Like sometimes I still don't, but I'm noticing myself not taking the help. And I feel like these flowers, they've always been like spot on. You're like, okay, so this is happening now. It's crazy how she can pick those flowers six months ahead. I think we have to keep changing and we have to keep moving. And that's what, you know, the flower evolution evolution allows you to do. And so I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Put me in coach. But like, I'd like some flowers to go with it. To experience it with a group of people, the layers of what you can get just by listening to other people is huge. And we're all coming together with like a different piece of that same puzzle. Everyone there is rooting for everyone else. Lately, you're you're watching these people transform their life and you're like, holy crap, like way to go. Yes, some things are hard because you're looking at stuff that you've carried with you, but it's also pretty lovely because you get like really nice smelling (laughs) oils or mists and you're still surrounding yourself with beauty. It's not for someone who just wants to flog themselves into being a better person. It's been so, such a positive experience. Like even when it's kicked my butt, it's been a positive experience. So I just don't know why you wouldn't do it. You absolutely cannot predict what effect it's going to have. You've got literally nothing to lose and everything to gain.